Nurses in New South Wales are launching strike action against the state government for 24 hours. For the fourth time this year, they're concerned about staffing and pay issues. Joining us live is the Assistant General Secretary of New South Wales Nurses and Midwives Association, Michael Waits. Michael, um, good to see you. Thanks for your time. So just elaborate on the why, please. So we're striking today because the Premier is failing to listen to the nurses and midwives of this state. We've been trying to tell him all year now that the situation is dire in our public hospitals and we, it is clear that he's not listening to us. We're also concerned about the pay rise that was handed out to members. Really, it was a pay cut well below inflation. And again, we, it seems that the Treasurer and the Premier are just not listening to the nurses and midwives of this state. What do you make of that point by Matt Keane that bonus payments will be taxed and there is disappointment on the state government's regard about that? I mean, what, what a cop-out. What a cop-out. That $3,000 bonus, whilst, you know, $3,000 is good in anyone's pocket, it didn't help pay the bills a month later. It's not helping pay the bills six months later. Our members lost most of that $3,000 in tax because of the overtime and everything else they'd been working in those weeks. And so now saying they'll get a little bit back in tax again, it's just an insult. They're really not listening to what the core issues are. Right. So who is, who is the subject of your ire there? Which government? Well, clearly this is the Dominic Perrottet government of New South Wales, who we've been saying to for uh, a number of years now that the staffing levels in our public hospitals need to be fixed. And COVID absolutely devastated our workforce. We know that nurses and midwives are working short shift across right. the state on a daily basis, and the Premier needs to fix this. Right. The government likes to point to the fact, though, that nurses in this state are paid at a much higher rate than nurses in other states. Do you accept that? No, it's patently wrong. And our members are clear about that and they're voting with their feet. You talk to members up at Tweed Hospital where they struggle to recruit because nurses can just drive across the border and get a better rate of pay and have shift by shift ratios. So why wouldn't you go and work there? Nurses in Albury, uh, on, on the border towns to Victoria, we know they can get a better rate of pay and they can get a better working conditions in Victoria. Again, right. we don't know what the Premier's really reading here. OK, so how disruptive is the strike going to be today to services? We'll make sure that we're leaving life-preserving uh, staffing uh, and we will work with management to ensure that that happens. But, of course, there will be some delays. But I would ask the community to reflect on the delays they're experiencing every day in our public health system. You know, record numbers of people are leaving the emergency departments without being seen. Uh, this isn't when there's strike action. Uh, this is occurring on a daily basis. So uh, there will be some uh, slower services, but we will make sure that we offer life-preserving staffing across the okay, state. OK, so where will the slower services be? What can people expect? Well, you could expect that there'll be some uh, elective surgeries uh, cancelled. We know that that's been happening. We know that some clinic waiting times will be longer. Uh, we expect some uh, longer waits in some emergency departments for the lower categories of uh, treatment requirements. The high levels, the urgent cases, of course, they'll be prioritised uh, as always. OK, Michael, we'll leave it there. Thank you. We'll talk to you again soon.